whispering in the trees. It's two cities and they're only... Yeah. This was the huge topic on Jet in the Region this morning. Uh, popped in out of nowhere, unsuspectedly. Uh, I knew something was coming because I pay attention when the mayor's on on his Friday show. And if you'll remember, a Friday ago, I believe, the mayor of Hammond, Tom McDermott Jr., made the comment or the statement that keep your eyes open, be ready, because an announcement's coming out, and it's going to surprise you. And this was it. Very plain to me, this was the announcement that McDermott was referring to, and that is that there has been uh, a compromise to some extent, at least uh, on the surface, between Ed Soliday and Tom McDermott concerning the Calumet River Area Project, or CRAP. Now, I learned a long time ago in the, in the hotel business as a manager from that perspective, this is what I learned, that even when asked in the meeting, what do you think about this problem? Does anybody have an idea how to solve it? Rather than seize the moment immediately or try to save the day or look like a hero, I've said it before on this program, it's not always a bad idea if your answer is, it's a very complicated problem, I'd like to give it some thought, can I get back to you in a couple of days with my uh, input or solution? Now, sometimes you don't have that luxury, and that was the situation that Jim Didlo ended up in this morning where it came out of nowhere, and, it, and then it got a life of its own. Um, I'm glad, actually, that I wasn't in that position, though I, I probably would not have gone uh, as deep into it at 7 a.m. than at 4 p.m., because by 4 p.m. I've had a chance to read a little bit, talk to a few folks, and I have a totally different perspective at 4 o'clock than I would have had at 7 a.m. And that perspective is this. What appears on the surface maybe to be uh, a backroom deal that only benefits McDermott and the Democratic Party may, in fact, not be all that bad once all things are considered. The first thing to consider is this. We started with a $25 fee, uh, which was going to be controlled by a five-member commission, which uh, Baker is the president and Dan Repay is the um, director reporting to the commission. That's where, we be that's where we began. And then that's where things get a little sultry. Now, the, the obvious here is that the players involved, and uh, we'll, we'll get to my analogy of that, uh, that there was a, a, a consorted effort by Tom McDermott to stop the commission as, and the plan as, it's, as it was originally designed, that not enough local representation was on that particular or in that plan for his liking. And I agree with, with a couple of aspects, at least one major aspect of McDermott's disagreement with Soliday, and that is that not enough of the watershed was carrying the financial burden. That for whatever reason, and that that is a point of debate and argument, that Soliday did not include his district as far as respon uh, financial responsibility. And I had a big problem with that, and so did McDermott. Of course, we didn't discuss it because the mayor doesn't talk to me much, but nonetheless, we were, in, we were in agreement in disagreeing with that issue. Everyone should pay, in my opinion. Then the Van Dermott plan appeared. So we went from the original $25 fee, controlled and... Uh, uh, put together by the commission as it stands right now, the repay commission, to the Van Dermott plan, which was the conservancy district, to now what is, I think, originally was being confused with the conservancy district. This is a totally well, different he's not plan. On the, he's on the... Uh, 
He's on the clothesline. Hey, Pete. Hey, how you doing? See, the phone's fine. Listen, I got a new respect for your boss this morning. Tell me why. He gave all our listeners a good Christmas present, talking to that mayor this morning. He did. He had him on the ropes, man. He caught him in lies and everything. He had him on the ropes. Were you listening? Heck yeah, I was listening. I called in even. Okay, and, and well, give give me the scenario, man. Let I thought I was watching a few good men. I thought it was Jack Nicholson and Tom Cruise, and I I was ready for Debo to say you can't handle the truth. Oh no, that you got that heated. Oh yeah, it was real good. Wow. Well, um, you know, Debo ought to be the lawyer, not the mayor, because I think he was pretty good at interrogating them, but he couldn't get a straight answer because the mayor kept giving him them lawyer answers. Now, now, you heard my you heard my comments today that we might be uh, we might be jumping the gun on this a little too soon. You don't think so? I don't think so. Listen, it started at twenty, then it went to twenty five. Now it's forty five. You know, this thing is going to keep going up until. There won't be anybody living around here anymore. <laughs> we won't. We won't need a. We won't need a a, a, a conservancy district or a commission. We'll need a, a plane or a bus ticket out of town. It's the same damn thing. You're going to have the same people running it, but let's add 25 more. What the heck? All and right. let's double the price. Let's even double it in a little bit more. A little five bucks for the other guy. All right. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Same to you. Ten forty.